While Metrofuser has many videos on specific repair and printer parts replacement, we wanted to develop a video to review general printer cover removal and replacement. This video is designed to help HP printer technicians remove today's laser printer covers. Now, HP printer covers are a hot seller for suppliers like Metrofuser. Why? Many covers are damaged during the repair or maintenance process. Now, it's important to note that HP printer covers are interconnected, meaning they need to come apart in order as well as reassemble in order. And much of the damage is avoidable with understanding this and simple precautions. Now, our technicians remove and reinstall over 10,000 HP covers every year. We've learned uh, cover removal and replacement is part art, part science, and we'll cover both in this video. The two biggest problems when removing HP printer covers are damaging the printer cover, of course, as well, in, as well as removing too many covers, which takes unnecessary time and increases the chances of breaking a cover. Now, in general, printer covers are interconnected by a tab lock system, flathead or Phillips head screws, or some combination of the three. Uh, typically, the smaller printers utilize a tab lock system, while the larger work groups, like the 605 here, will utilize a screw locking system. Now, it's recommended on all of, uh, all of these printers is to always check the service manual locate the external cover uh, exploded diagrams which will have the location description as well as part numbers of the covers uh, we also metrofuser also has a blog with exploded diagrams which is quite useful as well now steps for hp printer cover removalers first observations next ask questions how are these covers interconnected locate those connections and what type of connections are they tab locks or screws where to begin it's recommended to check three locations which will give you a lot of information clues on how the covers are interconnected and that would be the toner access door rear access panel as well as under the printer these three areas will highlight if it is a screw lock system or, or a tab lock system now when working with tab lock printers we uh, picked the M452 as our demo machine this has a lot of tab locking systems on it we're going to be disassembling it and we're going to again start from by opening the toner access doors give us a lot of clues on how to do it and then working from the bottom up uh, and we'll go through the, the different tab locking systems that it has so Now, a lot of these on the, uh, when utilizing Phillips heads or, or the flat heads, it's recommended if you're using a driver type screwdriver to put it on the lowest torque setting to avoid stripping the frame or the, the actual screw heads. A couple notes uh, on these as HP utilizes a triangle imprint on a lot of the side covers which will highlight to the technician where the tab locking locations are now it's not on every printer it's it's on a uh, we've seen them on a lot of color models uh, just so happens on this one it does not have it but uh, keep an eye out for those triangles
you can see on the bottom where this joins in, you can see the tab locking system, how they overlay. See that that is a, a better look at the system I was just talking about how the how it connects. So now we're gonna re reconnect or reinstall both both covers. You want to kind of um, minimize the amount of covers you need to rem you take off whenever possible. So at this point, this, this gives us a lot of access to a lot of parts for maintenance or replacement. Uh, we'll move back to reassembly. Now we've, we've turned the printer upside down to give you a better view of the process that we're going through. But a lot of technicians utilize kind of a trick of just hanging the printer off the side of the table, enough room to give, us, give you access to that, uh, the tab locking system under it. One of the biggest questions we get is uh, from technicians is, is during the removal process, how much force should be used during, during the uh, removal? I mean, too much 
and you can damage the cover too little and you may not be able to remove it. So it, it, we recommend using just a small amount and then ramping up and ramping up the force. These covers are made, you can see, with a lot of flexibility. You can see them curving quite a bit. Just check the seams, make sure they are tight. A few more screws and the process will be complete. Next up we're going to go over how to avoid stripping the screw in the printer frame. These frames are made from a light metal and in many cases a plastics so we want to avoid over tightening or stripping the, them. Um, it's recommended you pick the right uh, screw, so the screw bit or screwdriver and make sure it is dimensionally aligned with the screw that you're using. Next, you'll hold it in the right position, straight on, avoid any type of angles, and next you will insert it by hand, rotate the screw counterclockwise, which is the wrong way, but you want to rotate it until you hear a, a slight bump or, or feel a slight bump or you hear a slight click. And at that point is when you want to, that's when you rotate it clockwise. and that will minimize the chances of stripping the frame or the screw threads. Now you will also want to over, avoid over tightening, so just screw it in enough where you get a little tension. If you're using a driver screwdriver again, uh, put the torque setting to the minimal, uh, the minimal setting. Finally, if you have damaged the printer cover, now what do you do? The good news is just about every cover 4HP laser printers are available for replacement. So locate the printer cover, part number in the manual, and explode the diagrams, or just give us a call and we'll help you locate the part number.